Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. Sorry I haven't been really filming a lot lately. I have a really bad cold, but I am starting to feel better. So excuse my voice if it cuts in and out. Um, I wanted to share with you a kind of a throw it out there Thursday, a little Amazon haul, and an unboxing. So first off, just a couple things I I got this week was these eyebrow razors and they were on Amazon for $9.99 and uh, I think there's 50 of them in here 66 66 pieces I also got this little throw which is really cute soft I just I already unboxed it and washed it and all that so there's that. It's nice and soft and it fits a twin bed size. So I got that as a throw. My hair is doing crazy stuff because it's really humid. All right. So I'm going to try to leave the link to everything down below. And nothing is an affiliate link, but it'll just get you onto Amazon so you can find what I bought. Except for this. And it is an advent calendar. And it's Gnome Advent Calendar Halloween Countdown. And it comes like this. And it opens up. So I'm going to open this with you. So let me explain. I ordered this in August. Around the 9th of August. I just got this yesterday, which was September 11th. Because I am filming on September 12th. Um... Of course, it came from China, which it was not listed that way. It said it was listed through Prime. Um, it was fifteen ninety nine on Prime, and when I first purchased it, it said that allow three extra days shipping, which would have been five days total, which I was fine with, which would have made it around August nineteenth or so that I would get it. So then, as soon as August 19th came, it switched that date to September 1st. And it had its own little tracking thing. And it just said label created for the longest time. And then, um, when September 1st came, it said September 9th. And then it actually came September 11th. So... When you go to the link that I purchased this on, it says sold out. But I found it on another link, the exact same thing, which at this point, we're going to take a look at what's inside here because it's the Gnome event calendar, Halloween countdown. Um, I love gnomes. Anybody that knows me knows I love gnomes. I love Halloween. So we're going to open this together so you can see if it's worth it. And, um, even if it's not available on Amazon, I've seen this exact same box um, advertised other places. There's not really like a company name on it or anything. It opens up like this. Number one is the biggest door. But it looks like that. There's no identifying marks on it to say... Not even a sticker was on the packaging. So, we'll go with that. So, we are going to open up door number one. Which, let me move that a little bit. Tilt that. Which is a lar very large door. The description was it was Gnome Dolls. Okay, so he's cute. It's mostly felt. You can see his little nose. Let me turn down this light a little bit. It's a little bit too glary. There, that's better. Can't still can't really see his nose, but his little nose is there. I guess it's okay. It's like a little bean bag. 
and straighten his beard out. All right, so there's number one. So we're just going to go down the line. I'm going to try to hold. I'm just going to rip this. in half because this box number one it sucks but whatever but I want you to see like if you guys ordered this for your kids that you can see what it is so here's number two okay so this isn't even a no this one of the little guys from uh, Jack Skellington poorly painted Feels like some sort of resin or clay. All right, so three. I expected this to be all gnomes because on the picture it showed all of this being gnomes. All right, number two must have fell down here. All right, so I'm going to open up all these. I'm going to pause this, open up all these, and then we'll figure it out. Hold on. Okay, I am back, and I am pissed. This is a gnome. Gnome advent calendar. It's the same junk that I got in my Jack Skellington calendar, and this is what it's looking like. So we have Jack Skellington. Not junk, but I'm pissed. This is a gnome event calendar. Cheap-ass ghost. Little ghost. I mean, these are cute, but this is not what I ordered. Little tiny headless little pumpkin. Like I said, these are cute. This is not what I ordered. This is not what the picture showed. It showed all little gnomes. It showed one big gnome like this and all smaller gnomes that would have been like up to like this size smaller all right so that another headless guy another ghost i'm pissed what a rip off and remember i i uh opened one just like this And I wasn't happy with that Jack Skellington one. So I do not recommend even trying to buy this. And if you bought it, you'd be better off going down to Dollar Tree and um, buying a bunch of little gnomes and putting them in yourself. All right, let's see what 14 through 31 is. I'm just going to open it like this. Not one gnome. It's all, if I wanted Jack Skellington like I bought the first time, it's the same exact, almost exact. So, do not recommend. I am going on there and putting a horrible review on it. So that is what came in the gnome advent calendar as you can see that is what it says right there on the top on the advertisement that is what it showed it showed one big gnome like this and then a bunch of little gnomes about that size so do not recommend do not buy that unless you want the jack skellington this is actually nicer than the actual Jack Skellington one. The characters are a little better, except for them. Uh, a couple, like, I don't know, headless dudes. All right, so this this will all be going into a giveaway bag if you want these. Um, when I get to 500 um, subscribers, and I'll even throw the gnome in. Um, I'm just pissed. So, 
total ripoff, total false advertisement. I will be writing to Amazon as well so that they can look to see that that's false, false advertisement. And I'll see if I can find the other link or some pictures. And um, if I'm able to find the pictures of the original post, I'll um, post it over here. If you're not seeing anything right there, I wasn't able to find it. So, with that being said, I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. I'm starting to feel a little better. This cold was pretty brutal. Um, I'm still not all the way unstuffed, but um, I'm looking forward to doing maybe a Beetlejuice-inspired um, makeup look coming up on the channel. So until next time, I hope you have a blessed and happy day. Bye-bye.